Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today our Sesame Street toys are at the pool. It's our Playmobil pool. And it already has some water in it. There's a big orange slide. Oh, and the kiddie pool, it's empty. It's not open today. Now all of our toys want to go in the pool, but Oscar, you can't go in with your trash can. It will get rusty. And Slimy the Worm can't go in either because he doesn't have hands or legs to swim. So Oscar won't be going in the pool today. What about Cookie Monster? Cookie Monster can't stop eating cookies. Sorry, Cookie Monster, there is no food allowed in the pool. You'll have to stay outside of the pool and eat your cookies. Um, nom, nom, nom. And then we have Bert and Ernie. Oh, oops. Ernie brought his rubber ducky, but they didn't bring their bathing suits. And you can't wear your clothes in the pool, Bert and Ernie. I guess they're just going to have to stand at the side and watch their friends go in. Now, what about Big Bird? Big Bird has feathers and some birds go in water like ducks or geese. But what about Big Bird's size? I think he's too big for the pool. The water only goes up to his knees and he's too tall for the shower. Sorry, Big Bird, you are too big to use this pool. And that leaves us with Elmo. Elmo, can you fit inside the shower? Oh, excuse us, Oscar. He's just the right size. Elmo is the only Sesame Street character that can go in the pool today. Elmo's going to climb into the pool instead of jumping because it's too shallow to jump. There's the red ladder to go down into the water. He likes to dive under the water and hold his breath and he also likes to float on his back and look at the sky. Oh, the slide is open. Let's go up, Elmo. Elmo goes up the ladder very carefully so he doesn't fall. He uses both hands. When he gets to the top, whoa, he can't believe how high up he is. He says hi to all of his friends below. Hi, guys. Hi, Elmo. We can see you. Let's go down. Poor Elmo, he wishes his friends could join him in the pool today. He still had fun going down the slide. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We have our little racing Elmo car with a big red E on the front of his blue car. He's wearing a helmet to be safe and Tiny Treasures Mini has set up a little obstacle course with blocks and some of our favorite Sesame Street toys. And we're gonna see if Elmo can get all the way through the obstacle course. Oh, there's our Cookie Monster Ball Run. And there are some nesting eggs. And there are some of our special friends that are cheering Elmo on. And then the very end, we have Bert and Ernie, Snuffleupagus, and the Count in the Sesame Street 123 school bus.
dear. Elmo is a dangerous driver. He hit many obstacles. He's not ready to be a driver of a car yet. At least his friends are here to support him. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are at the ocean. And I love to smell the salty water and the fresh air. And we have Elmo joining us today and he's standing on a rock. And behind him he has a little octopus friend because octopus live in the ocean. And you can see all of these rocks that the crashing waves push into the cliffside. And over time, these rocks become really smooth and round. And even some shells get crushed and they turn into sand. The ocean waves are so powerful that I went back to this spot the next day. Look at how many more rocks were brought up from the strong ocean waves and tide. Tiny Treasures has found a shell from a mussel. There isn't a mussel inside, but look at the beautiful rainbow colors. And Elmo has found some kelp. This is called bull kelp. And Tiny Treasures Minnie has found some barnacles. And there are some mussels too. Oh, look, Tiny fans, starfish. How many do you see? And right below are sea anemones. Oh, they are soft and squishy. And these ones are safe to touch. So I told Tiny Treasures and Tiny Treasures Minnie to be very gentle. But some sea anemones are poisonous to humans. So please make sure you don't go touching sea life unless you know for sure it's safe. They eat crabs and fish. And we saw a little crab get eaten up by this sea anemone. This crab must have walked into its sticky tentacles. And it stings the crab and the crab can't move. The sea anemone puts the crab into its mouth, which is in the center. Well, we hope you had fun exploring with us today. Our feet are sandy and it's time to spray them off. Stay tuned for more ocean fun. And if you love our videos, please support our channel by hitting the subscribe button. It's very important if you haven't done that already. So we can make videos for you every single day. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Bye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are going to have fun learning today with Elmo and the kids and I collected these rocks. We painted them and modge podge some numbers on them. And we're going to learn with candy because learning is better when it's fun. Right, Elmo? We have Colorful M&M's candy, well, chocolate-coated candy. There are many different colors. We have a purple one. We need one purple M&M, but there aren't any. So instead, we will choose one brown M&M. One. Two orange M&M's. Do you see any orange Elmo? I do. Let's pick two orange M&Ms out of the cup. One, two. Now we have a blue three. We need three blue M&Ms. One, two, three. Four green M&M's. One, two, three.
three, four. What do we have next, tiny fans? Five yellow M&Ms. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, look, a red rock just like you, Elmo. We need six red M&Ms. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you love our channel and you want us to keep creating videos every day, please push the link below to subscribe. It's important for us to continue to grow. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe. Goodbye. Tiny treasures and toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. I'm holding my books upright with my Winnie the Pooh bookends. We're going to read a story today. As you can see, Pooh Bear is stuck. Stuck in a fence. Oh dear. And Tigger and Piglet are trying to pull him through the fence. Poor Pooh Bear. Let's read him a story to make him feel better. I'm going to pick a Sesame Street book. It's called Elmo's Book of Friends. It has gold stripes on it. And we're going to meet all of his friends. And you can see the pictures on the side. You might know some of the characters. First, it's Elmo. Hello there. Elmo is happy to see you. This is Dorothy, Elmo's friendly pet goldfish. Come meet some of Elmo's other friends. Elmo loves you. Abby Kadabi. Elmo is lucky to have a fairy friend, Abby Kadabi. Abby can flutter her sparkly wings and fly. Cool. And Abby says, Got a poof. Baby bear. This is Baby Bear. He is a terrific big brother to his sister, Curly Bear. He loves to read to her. Then Mama Bear said, Rosita. Elmo's friend Rosita is from Mexico. She speaks Spanish. Hola is the Spanish word for hello. You say it. I love to sing and make music. Zoe, dance with me. Elmo's friend Zoe is a whirly twirly ballerina. She really likes to dance. Super Grover. Super Grover is a special friend. He tries to help Elmo solve his problems by being super brave and kind. Hello, everybody. Telly and T is for tingling triangles. Elmo's friend Telly has a favorite shape. Guess what it is? Right, triangles. Big Bird. Big Bird is Elmo's tallest friend. He even likes tall tales. Elmo loves fairy tales because he pretends he's the hero. Once upon a time, Bert. What would you name a pet pigeon? Elmo's pal Bert loves collecting figgy fizz bottle caps. His pet pigeon is Bernice. Cookie Monster. This is Cookie Monster. He loves cookies and yummy healthy snacks too. Cowabunga! Murray. Here's Murray. He loves sharing new words with Elmo. What are some words you'd like to share with them? Friendship is the best word. Oscar. Oscar is Elmo's grouchiest friend. 
he doesn't stay grouchy for too long. And he's never grouchy with his pet worm, Slimy. I love trash. Ernie, say hi to Elmo's happy friend, Ernie. He likes to sing to his favorite toy, Rubber Ducky. What's your favorite song? Rubber Ducky, you're the one. The Count. There are three bats. Elmo's friend, Count Von Count, loves to count everything. Try counting with Elmo. One, two, three, yay! Thanks for meeting Elmo's friends. Bye for now. Okay, tiny fans, did you spot the Dora backpack somewhere earlier in the video? If not, you can go back and have a look. Thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Since we have so many fans that love to see Elmo go down the slide, we're at the ocean and we brought our little slide with us. And Elmo with his friend Abby are going to slide into a tide pool. Hey, look, what is this? Hmm, maybe a piece of a shell? All different types of things to see. Abby's going to go first. Ooh, that isn't safe. She went right into a rock, but these are just toys, so don't ever try this at home, tiny fans. Here comes Elmo. Count to three with me. One, two, three, go! And he landed right beside some leaves. And we'll see something. What is it? Look at that giant rock. It looks like it came from outer space. Rocks that come from outer space are called meteorites. Isn't that unusual? Well, it's time to head back along the path. And there is the space rock that we just saw. Do you see it? It's so fun to explore the outdoors. You just never know what you're going to see. And you can use your imagination, too. Well, it's time to head back over to the other beach. And we need to walk on a log to cross the little creek. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are here with Elmo, Cookie Monster, and Puppy. Looks like Puppy has a little leaf stuck to his leg. Come here, Puppy. He doesn't like me touching his legs. We'll get the leaf later. Elmo and Cookie Monster are riding the little tykes cars today. There's a blue convertible and a red convertible. Which one do you think Elmo should drive? Should we match them with their fur color? Cookie Monster is blue, so let's put him in the blue convertible. And Elmo is red, so he will ride in the red convertible. Both Elmo and Cookie Monster have small cars and they don't need a lot of gas. They're better for the environment than a big truck or van. Their gas tanks are empty and Cookie Monster has a tire with low air. So let's go together to the station. Cookie Monster drives in front of Elmo. And here we are at the Mickey Roadster Racers gas station. There's only one pump. Cookie Monster, you're too far from the gas pump. You'll need to back up and re-park your car closer to the pump. Elmo lines up behind Cookie Monster. He will have to wait his turn to fill his gas tank.
Today, Cookie Monster will have to pay $15 for gas. Now let's pull ahead and check your air pressure in your tires, Cookie Monster. Now it's Elmo's turn to fill up at the pump. Cookie Monster uses the pressure gauge to check the pressure of the tires. You don't want to overfill them, Cookie Monster. You can pop a tire. It's important to check all four tires. And last but not least, it's time to wash the windshield with the yellow squeegee. Now that Elmo has filled up his gas tank, they decide to park over at the side. They want to see Mickey Mouse's red convertible parked at the side. Look at the rims on Mickey's car. They're silver, red, and white. And there's a little black Mickey button. Let's give it a push. We hope you enjoyed today's video. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're having fun with our Let's Dance Elmo toy. He has three buttons on the top of his headphones, a purple one with a rainbow, a red one with musical notes, and a yellow one with an animal paw. When Elmo listens to music, he makes sure it isn't too loud, because if it is too loud, it can damage our hearing. Elmo's ready to dance. Dancing makes him feel happy. Now we know Elmo loves the color blue. It's party time! Okay, Elmo. Dance along with Elmo, tiny fans. One more button to push, it's the yellow paw button. Let's wiggle! La 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 la, move like an animal, just like an animal, cut through like an animal, cut through like an animal. Let's wiggle, wiggle like a worm, wiggle, wiggle, let's go, wiggle, 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 wiggle,
Dancing makes me feel happy. And it's even more fun when you dance with your friends. Dance along with Elmo and his friends, Tiny fans. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. We're going to learn letters today with Elmo in his bathroom. This is Elmo's bathtub. He loves to take bubble baths. They help relax him. What does bath start with? Ba ba ba. B. There's a letter B inside the tub. A blue B. The word bubbles also starts with B. Now Elmo is at the sink where he brushes his teeth and washes his hands before he eats. When he uses the bathroom, and sink starts with the letter S. S. There's an orange S in the cupboard. What other words in the bathroom start with S? How about soap? Now we are at the potty. Oh, Elmo, we shouldn't leave the lid up. What does potty start with? P -p -p P, a purple P. Good job, Elmo. We have one more letter to learn. It's Kitty and she is a cat. Cat starts with the letter C. Please support our channel by hitting the link below to subscribe. Thank you and goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Elmo is now in a big boy bed, aren't you Elmo? Yes, yes, yes. And we're going to read a story about Elmo and his new big boy bed. Go get the book, Elmo. Oh, there it is. It's called Big Enough for a Bed. Oh, and there's a picture of you in your pajamas, Elmo, in your bed. Let's read the story together. When Elmo was a baby, he slept in a crib. But now Elmo is a big boy. Elmo is ready to sleep in a big kid's bed. Elmo's mommy let Elmo pick out his very own sheets for his new bed. Elmo knows that sleeping in his new bed will feel different from sleeping in his crib. And I must say, Elmo, I love your polka dot pajamas. They look so comfy. So Elmo brings his doll, David, and his favorite blankie with him to his new bed. And Elmo's mummy reads a bedtime story to Elmo just like she did when Elmo slept in a crib. Now Elmo can't wait to fall asleep in his new bed. What a big boy Elmo is. Good night, Elmo. And now we'll tuck Elmo into bed. That was your bedtime story. Good night, Elmo. And if you love our channel, Tiny Fans, it's so important that you Subscribe if you already haven't because that's how YouTube recognizes our success. So please hit the link below to subscribe. Goodbye and good night. Bye bye, tiny fans.